What's up guys, Struggle 23451 and today I am going to be talking about the coolants water block instructions or their lack of. Basically, um, as you guys know I installed a coolants water block and I'm like oh look it's so pretty. Well when I was on blog TV uh, recording like how to do it so people can see what I do for installing water cooling blocks and all that fun stuff. I come to the realization um, basically when I put my uh, little screwdriver, I put it in, I guess, where the block is and where it's supposed to meet the ram. It wasn't making any contact whatsoever. So basically, I had to take apart both blocks and basically um, install everything. But this is when, uh, what I got, excuse me, this is all I got for instructions um, for the GTX 590. Uh, basically, you can see all the points where you're supposed to put the thermal pads, right? Well, they finally made instructions now that are online, apparently. So, I guess that's good in a sense. But, um, some of the instructions are really vague. And on top of that, they, uh, use like three different GPUs. They use a GTX 90 and then they use like a ATI 5870 I think and another uh, graphics card which I'm not sure but this is what uh, from my problem and how I solved it so I'm letting you guys know so you won't have the problem alright um, basically if you don't know how to take the GTX 590 go ahead and look in the videos that I have that will probably be this way or over here I don't know but anyway take apart that alright and then once you get that installed or taken apart excuse me you're gonna move on to cleaning the GPU which I have a video uh, how I do that but once you get into the process of actually installing the card um, this is where some of the instructions may not be clear at all whatsoever so I am going to tell you guys uh, from my mistakes and what I did to fix it even though it doesn't even say on the instructions that I got the first time like this is all I got but um, basically uh, once you get the coolant water block what you want to do is you know prep it up clean it uh, with isopropyl alcohol after you're done with that um, pretty much what you're going to do is uh, apply all the thermal pads and all that fun stuff. Uh, apply your Tim. But here's the tricky part. Like, they have washers. And this is what I did on the first time of what I did. I installed the washers onto the PCB. So basically, it's GPUs are at the top, and that's where I installed all the washers. That's completely wrong. Don't do that. Uh, I did that the first time, and that's why I had that space. Basically, what you want to do is not even use the washers at all, if because the GTX 590 already has a backplate. That backplate, more or less, is the same thickness as those washers that they want you to use, because they say if you cannot use your stock, <coughs> excuse me, screws that you got from your GPU, uh, use our screws and our washers. Well you don't need to use the washers at all just use the screws and install them like you saw in my video on how to install a GTX 590 colon water block that's all you have to do so I'm just letting you guys know <clears throat> what's going on also what you want to do or when you want to use the washers I would say you would want to use the washers where the basically you have three screws going between uh, two GPUs <clears throat> so you flip over the card where the GPUs are facing your desk or whatever and you put the washers on the screws and then you install them that way that's the only uh, thing that you would really need to use washers for because you don't have the back plate so you just use the washer instead but that's from my experience with these water blocks so I hope this video helps you out um, I might do a write-up of how to install a coolant water block because their uh, instructions are, I'm like, why are you going to use 
three different GPUs, but that's just my opinion. So I'm hoping this video helps you out. If you do decide to get coolant uh, water blocks, they are pretty much the best for when it call, um, cools for the VRMs and everything. But um, I guess that's it. Comment, subscribe, rate this video. Guys, have a great day.